Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on how to insert elements into an ABL tree. So that can be discussed in this video. Initially, ABL tree is empty. So now I want to insert these elements into the ABL tree. Okay, first one, first element is 15. Now insert 15 into the empty AVL tree. So 15 can be inserted into the empty AVL tree. Okay. Now for this node, what is the balance factor? So for this node, there is no left subtree. So height of left subtree is equal to 0. There is no right subtree. Height of right subtree is equal to 0. So height of left subtree 0 minus height of right subtree 0. So 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. So the balance factor for this node is 15. 15 is 0. Hence we can say that 0 is a valid balance factor. Hence this is a ABL tree. Okay. Next element 20. Insert element 20 into the existing uh, AVL tree. So before inserting element 20, so the existing AVL tree is uh, this one. Now element 20 is compared with the 15. 20 is greater than 15. Now 20 can be inserted as the right child of 15. Right child of 15 that is 20. Now what are the balance factors for this node? Now consider uh, element 20. So element 20 has no left child and no right child. So that is height of left child is 0 minus height of right child is also 0. So 0 minus 0 that is equal to 0. Now go for node 15. So node 15 there is no left subtree is there. Height of left subtree is 0. Next, height of right subtree is, it contains one edge. So that is uh, 1. Height of right subtree is 1. 0 minus 1. That is equal to minus 1. So the balance factor for node 15 is minus 1. The balance factor for node 20 is 0. So the valid balance factors are minus 1, 0, plus 1. Okay, these are the valid balance factors. Okay, so here minus 1 and 0 are there. It satisfies the binary such tree property. Hence, we can say that it is a AVL tree. Okay, next. Next, go for uh, insert element 24. Before insert element 24, the existing AVL tree is this one. Now, element 24 can be inserted into the existing AVL tree. Now 24 is compared with the root node 15. 24 is greater than 15. Go to the right subtree. In the right subtree, here the node is 20. Now 24 is compared with 20. So it is greater. So go to the right subtree. In the right subtree, there is a, uh, there is a vacant place is there. Now we are creating a node. So on that node, we have insert element 24. Okay, now what are the balance factors for this node, for this node 24? So 24 has no left child and no right child. So height of left subtree 0, height of right subtree 0, 0 minus 0 is 0. Okay, next one go for node 20. Okay, so node 20 has no left subtree. So that is height of left subtree is 0. 20 has only a uh, right subtree is there with one edge. So height of right subtree is 1, 0 minus 1, that is minus 1. Okay, next one go for 15, node 15. So there is no left subtree for node 15. Height of left subtree is 0 minus height of right subtree. Height of right subtree contains how many number of edges? Two edges are there. So that is height of right subtree is 2. So 0 minus 2 is equal to minus 2. Now after 
constructing the aerial tree and uh, calculating the balance factor check whether these are the ba valid balance factors or not here valid balance factors are minus 1 0 plus 1 but here minus 2 is there here 0 minus 1 are valid balance factors but minus 2 is not the valid balance factor so whenever uh, Whenever a node contains a invalid balance factor, we have to uh, reduce the height of the uh, aerial tree by using the rotations. Now, which rotation we have to follow for uh, reducing the height of the tree? Okay, so here we are uh, inserting element 20 at the right of 15. So, we go for right subtree. Next, element 24 can be inserted at the right of 20. So, we are getting right of right. Insert operation can be done right of right. Okay. So, this is a RR we are getting. Okay. Now, we are performing the RR rotation. Okay. At which node we are performing the RR rotation? That is 15. Because at node 15, we are getting the minus 2 invalid balance factor so that we have to perform uh, left rotation here rr is there we are performing the left rotation after performing the left rotation the middle node the middle node becomes the root node so that is 20 becomes the root node and here 20 goes to this place 15 goes to down so 15 goes to down and 24 goes to this place. So this is 24 goes to this place. Okay. So now the valid balance factors we are getting or not. 15, there is no left subtree, there is no right subtree, 0 minus 0, that is 0. 24, there is no left subtree, there is no right subtree, 0 minus 0 is 0. Here, 20, one left child is there, one right child is there, height is 1, left child height is 1, right child height is 1, 1 minus 1, that is equal to 0. So, all are zeros. this is a valid uh, avian tree, because every node balance factor is 0. Okay, next, next we are inserting element 10. Okay, now, First 10 is before inserting element uh, uh, 10, the existing binary tree, the existing aerial tree is this one. Okay, now inserting element 10. 10 is compared with 20. 10 is less than 20. Go to the left subtree. In the left subtree, next node is 15. So 10 is compared with 15. 10 is less than 15. So, go to the left subtree. Left subtree is empty. Now, we have to create a node and inserting element 10 as a left child of node 15. Okay. Now, balance factors first we have to find out. For node 10, there is no left subtree. There is no right subtree. Height of left subtree is 0. Height of right subtree is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. Next one. For 15, the balance factor is height of left subtree is 1 and the height of right subtree is 0. So, that is 1 minus 0 that is equal to 1. Next, for node 20, height of left subtree is 2 minus height of right subtree is 1. Height of left subtree is 2 means 1 edge, 2 edge. So, 2, height of right subtree contains 1 edge. 2 minus 1 that is equal to 1. Next one. Uh, for node 24, height of left subtree is 0, height of right subtree is 0, 0 minus 0, that is equal to 0. What are the balance factors we are getting? 0, 1, 0. That means 0, 1. 0, 1 are valid balance factors. So, now it becomes a AVL tree. Okay. Next one. Insert element 13. Before inserting element uh, 13, the existing binary ADL tree is this one. Okay. Now, 
element 13 can be compared with 20, it is less than 20. Go to the left subtree. Next 15 is there. 15 is compared with 30. So 13 is less than 15. Go to the left subtree. Here node 10 is there. 10 is compared with 13. 13 is greater than 10. So go to the right subtree. So it is a empty node. So now we are creating a empty node and inserting element 13 as the right child of 10. Okay. Now it is a uh, ABL tree or not by calculating the balance factors. So for each and every node we have to calculate the balance factor. For node 24 balance factor is 0 because it has no right child, it has no left child. So height of left sub 3 is 0, height of right sub 3 is 0, 0 minus 0 that is equal to 0. Next one for node 13 no left sub 3, no right sub 3, 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Next for node 10 there is no left sub 3 that is uh, 0 minus height of right sub 3 is 1, 0 minus 1 that is equal to minus 1. Next go for node 15. So height of left sub 3 contains 2 minus height of right sub 3, 0. So 2 minus 0 is equal to 2. Next one for node 20. So height of left sub 3 is a 3 minus height of right sub 3 is a 1. So 3 minus 1 that is equal to 2. Okay. Here uh, we are getting node 15 invalid balance factor, node 20 invalid balance factor. First, where we are performing the rotation operation. So here element 13 can be inserted in this place. So first we have to perform rotation on these three nodes. On these three nodes we have to perform the rotation. First which rotation we have to perform. So here, see here node 15 is inserted at left, left side and node 13 can be inserted right side. Now we are performing LR rotation. Okay, LR. Node 13 can be inserted at the right child of 10 and 10 can be inserted at the left child of 15. Now we are performing LR rotation. So in the LR rotation, first we have to perform rotation on this edge. Next we have to perform uh, rotation on this edge. First, here, here we are performing the rotation operation with respect to this node. Okay, so here R is the R means right. Now we are performing the left rotation. So now we are rotation operation in this way. Okay. So after performing rotation operation, 13 goes to this place and 10 goes to down. So in this way we are getting next 24. Okay. After performing a left rotation, okay. So what is the tree we are getting? This one. So now height of left sub tree is uh, left sub tree is zero. Height of right sub tree is zero. Zero minus zero is zero. Here for node thirteen, height of left sub tree is one. Height of right sub tree is zero. So one minus zero is one. Next for fifteen, height of left sub tree is two. Height of right sub tree is zero. Two minus zero is two. Next for uh, node twenty. Height of left sub 3 is 3, height of right sub 3 is 1, 3 minus 1 that is 2. Now, so now we are performing, after performing the this rotation, now we are performing this rotation. Here L is there, now we are performing the R rotation, right side rotation. So at this node, now perform the right side rotation on this one. So after performing right side rotation, 15 goes to down. 13 goes to this place and 10 goes to this place. Now we are getting, so 20, okay, 15 goes to down, 13 goes to up, 15 goes to down and 10 goes to 13 node place, so 10 goes to this place. So now this is one, next we are getting here 24. So this is the tree we are getting after performing LR rotation. In the LR rotation, 
first we are performing the left rotation after we are performing the right rotation this is right rotation this is left rotation okay now we are getting uh, this is the tree after inserting element uh, 13 okay now the balance factors are here 0 here 0 here 1 minus 1 that is 0 here 2 here 1 2 minus 1 that is 1 here 0 after inserting element 13 what is the tree we are getting this one all the balance factors of each and every node are either 0 or 1 so that are the valid balance factors hence we can say that it is a valid uh, aerial tree now uh, insert element 20 element 30 insert element 30 in this existing aerial tree so before existing uh, element 30 the existing aerial tree is 20 13 10 and this is 15 and this is 24 okay next we have to insert element 30 into the existing aerial tree this is the existing aerial tree in that one element 30 is to be inserted First element 30 is compared with the 20, so 30 is greater than 20, so go to the right subtree. Here 24 is there, 24 is compared with 30, so 30 is greater than 24, go to the right subtree. Here the, the right subtree is empty, now we have to create an empty node, so on that empty node we have to write element 30 as the right child of element 24. Okay, so now, now we have to check the balance factor for each and every node. Check whether this is a aerial tree or not. So for element 30, the balance factor, so 0, because there is no left subtree, there is no right subtree. Next to 24, left subtree is empty, 0, minus right subtree is 1, 0 minus 1, that is equal to minus 1. Next for 20, left height of left subtree 2 edges height of right subtree 2 edges so that is 2 minus 2 that is equal to 0 next go for node 10 height of left subtree 0 height of right subtree 0 0 minus 0 is 0 for node 15 height of left subtree 0 height of right subtree 0 0 minus 0 for node 13 height of left subtree 1 edge minus height of right subtree 1 edge 1 minus 1 that is equal to 0 Okay, now the balance factors are 0, minus 1 only. So, 0 and minus 1 are valid balance factors. Hence, we can say that it is a aerial tree. Okay, next we have to insert element 36. Insert element 36. Okay. Now, so, element 36 can be inserted before inserting element 36. So, here the existing aerial tree is uh, this one. Okay. Now, so 36 is uh, compared with uh, 20. So, 36 is greater than 20. Now, go to the right subtree. Here, 24 is there. 36 is compared with 24. 36 is greater than 24. Go to the right subtree. Here, 30 is there. 36 is compared with 30. It is greater than 30. So, go to the right subtree. So, in the after inserting element 36, the balance factors are 36, there is no left subtree, there is no right subtree, that is 0, 0 minus 0, that is 0. For node 30, height of left subtree is 0 and height of right subtree is 1, 0 minus 1, that is minus 1. For node 24, height of left subtree is 0, height of right subtree is 2, 0 minus 2, that is minus 2. Next, for node 20, the balance the height of left subtree is 2. Height of right subtree 3, 2 minus 3, that is minus 1. Next, 
for node 10 the balance factors there is no left subtree there is no right subtree so 0 minus 0 that is 0 for node 15 height of left subtree is 0 height of right subtree is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 for node 13 height of left subtree is 1 height of right subtree is 1 1 minus 1 that is equal to 0 okay now here the here minus 2 is not a valid balance factor okay so that so here at this node we have to perform the per rotation by reducing the balance factor okay which rotation we have to perform so here node 36 is inserted as right off right off right so here this is a right and this is a right okay node 36 is right of 30 30 is inserted at the right of 24 now we have to perform the rr rotation here the height of the tree is increases at this point okay now we have to reduce the height of tree we have to perform left rotation we have to perform left rotation with respect to node 24 so now 24 goes to down 24 goes to down okay 30 goes to up 30 goes to up and here 36 goes to this place 36 goes to uh, this place next here this is root node 20 20 right child is 30 and 20 left child is 30 and 13 left child is 10 and 13 right child is 15 okay this is the tree we are getting here we have to perform left rotation with respect to this node after performing left rotation 24 goes to down 30 goes to this place 36 goes to this place so after performing rr rotation okay so this is the tree we are getting now check the valid balance factors contains each and every node or not so this is height of left subtree 0 height of right subtree 0 0 minus 0 is 0 for this node same height of left subtree minus height of right subtree 0 0 for this node height of left subtree is 1 height of right subtree is 1 1 minus 1 0 for this node height of left subtree 2 height of right subtree 2 2 minus 2 that is 0 for this node height of left subtree is 1 height of right subtree is 1 1 minus 1 that is 0 for this node height of left subtree 0 height of right subtree 0 0 minus 0 is 0 for this node height of left subtree is 1 height of right subtree is 1 1 minus 1 that is 0 okay so all balance factors of every node is 0 hence it is a valid balance factor hence it is a avian tree okay so now next we are inserting element 25 into this tree so before inserting element 25 so the existing avian tree is uh, this one Twenty-four and thirty-six. Okay. Now we are inserting element twenty-five into this tree. Twenty-four is compared. Twenty-five is compared with the twenty. It is greater. Go to the right sub tree. Here thirty is there. Twenty-five is compared with the thirty. It is lesser. Go to the left sub tree. Here twenty-four is there. Twenty-four is compared with the twenty-five. It is greater. So go to the right subtree. Here it is a empty right subtree. Now we have to create a node. Uh, in that node, we have to write the value 25. So 24 right chain is 25. Now it is a uh, aerial tree or not. For checking that one, first we have to write the balance factors for each and every node. Here for 20, height of left subtree is 2. Height of right subtree is 3. 2 minus 3, that is minus 1. Okay, here 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1. Next, for this node, 1, 1. 1 minus 1, 0. For this node, 0 minus 0. For this node, 0 minus 0. For this node, height of left subtree is 2. Minus height of right subtree is 1. 2 minus 1, that is 1. Next, for this node, 
height of left surface zero, height of right surface is zero. For this node, height of left surface is zero, height of right surface is one, zero minus one, that is minus one. So for this one, height of left surface is zero, height of right surface is zero. Okay. So all balance factors are zero minus one, one. 0, minus 1, 1 are the valid balance factor. So, this is a, a real tree. So, after inserting of 9 elements into the tree, so this is the final avial tree. So, this is the final avial tree after inserting all the elements. After inserting all elements. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. So, Divyalas Vasara. Thank you.